Well, I got all the painting done that I'm going to do for now, and all the panels for the baggage compartment done. I got a new prop spinner, and I got it painted. I'm going to put my paint away now. There's the, the DUHS and the DX39 and the DDH526. Now I got sticky on my fingers. I'm going to put all that stuff away. The way I do that is I've got my little CO2 bottle there for uh, the wire feed. I've never used it a whole lot on the MIG welding, but I have used it a lot for storage of uh, paint and stuff. Now I've got uh, the mix gas for the MIG for the, what I used in here, the, the argon and the CO2, and that would work just as well, maybe better, or maybe even the straight argon. I got a bottle of straight argon to practice with TIG welding when I get a chance. And that would probably work even better because they're inert gases. But anyway, what I'll do is I'll just turn that on, that tank on, and get a little bit of flow. And I got a little bit of flow. It doesn't take very much. And I'll just take the paint can and just stick the CO2 in there, the, the uh, nozzle in there a little bit, or the end of the tube in there for a little while and let it flood in there and CO2 is heavier than air so it should force all the oxygen out of there so I'll just let that run a little while in there and then uh, seal the cap back on and I'll do the same thing for uh, both the hardener and the uh, accelerator and those are real critical because they use the moisture in the air to activate before I did this I get a, a can of, uh, of hardener or uh, accelerator or whatever for the for the paint and once you open the can you'll know, had a short period of time a few days before it'd start gelling up to the point where you couldn't use it once I started putting the CO2 in there that stuff has lasted well I've had this stuff for about four years uh, this this can of paint and this stuff and it's been opened and used a couple times so the can of paint wasn't I had uh, this is the first time I've had the can the paint itself opened up but both the uh, activator and the hardener have been used on uh, on the quart cans of paint that I had. So that's probably long enough for the uh, for the paint. Um, stick it in the, the hardener. Accelerator, of course, is a lot smaller volume than the can, so it shouldn't take as long. So. I think I've got a little bit too much airflow in there. Um, just want enough to kind of force the air out of there. And if it's too too much flow, then it just makes turbulence and it'll suck air in. But. Okay, and that should keep that paint for um, a long time. I'm going to probably get it used up here in the next couple weeks, but that'll help it keep. Um, I've had kept it for years like that, so 